All right, so we have grinded through all of the figures in the wave for the Infinity Ultron build a figure. This is Disney Plus Series 3 from Marvel Legends. And there is a total of seven figures in the wave, although you only need six figures to complete the build a figure. And the figure that does not come with a build a figure piece is Moon Knight. So this is a figure I have wanted ever since I saw him in What If. So I am happy that Hasbro went ahead and brought him to Marvel Legends. Now there is some controversy surrounding this figure. A lot of people were unhappy with the height. Now I'm here to say that he stands at like 7 inches tall, which isn't really that tall considering uh, we were expecting him to be much bigger. So I did go back and rewatch the fight scene between Infinity Ultron and the Avengers, and he's pretty tall. So this figure is sadly underscaled. It's not, it's not tall enough. It should be bigger. It should be taller. I don't know where Hasbro went wrong here, but they should have made him just a tad bit taller. Now, real quick, here he is next to Captain Carter for a quick comparison. And he is taller, but he should be a lot more taller. He makes Thor seem short in the episode, at least in the angles that we see it. So maybe it's the angles, maybe it's not. But at the end of the day, this figure is a little underscaled. And he even picks a fight with Uatu the Watcher at the end of the season. And he is the same size as the Watcher. So I don't know if he increases size because I know he does turn into like a giant man type of Infinity Ultron. Uh, in one of the episodes, but he is pretty much just as tall as the Watcher in that fight scene. Um, unless I am not remembering things correctly, maybe they change sizes or something, I don't know. But clearly, as you can see here, there is quite the size difference between these two build figures. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, he does look pretty dope. I must say the face sculpt is cool. Uh, he does have the vision head inside. You can see his mouth. You can see the pink and green of his skin. So that is cool. I like that. Got the infinity stones on his chest and one on his forehead. And then we got another one down here. Got some very cool looking gold designs. The gold paint lines right there. And it's all throughout the figure. Now the base of the figure of course is this marbleized silver metallic plastic. Uh, a lot of people were bummed out because they did not chrome him up they didn't paint him up silver or chrome so yeah it's a bit of a bummer but it still looks really cool it still looks good in hand and i also like this sort of cell shading type of a shadow paint that they put on the cape here on the inside which is pretty dope got some nice gold paint on the bottom here's the back side this cape's actually pretty cool it, there's a peg that pegs in on his back and then you loop these two spikes through these holes here and you tuck in the top under his little shoulder guards and you can kind of see it from the front side there on his shoulder so very cool little design there on the cape it's secure it's not going to flop around so that's awesome there's the arms up close you can see some of the detail in the paint there the paint works not too bad so i'm happy about that and then he has his one accessory which comes in two separate pieces so here's one side and then here is the other and you just combine it right here there is a little hand uh, guard or a little grip in the middle. That's where you grab the weapon from and here are the two spears on each end. Now these are super soft. They really want to make sure safety first here and no one kills themselves on this. So this will warp 100% so be careful with this thing. It's almost too soft. A little crazy right? Um, so that's for both sides so just be careful with that. Uh, overall pretty cool sculpt. Got the paint within there pretty nice so not too bad it's the same color as his, his his body of course but as you can see how the light is reflecting off of it it gives it that very cool metallic sheen shine to it it, it looks cool it really does look cool in the light so i gotta say to the people that complained about the paint um give it a shot maybe it looks it looks nice i mean look at this in the light i understand i think it would have been nicer with paint of course 100 percent but uh, it doesn't look terrible either now his weapon is meant to go into his right hand which is his grabby hand uh, the other hand is just straight up open and you can't really grasp anything but it is not tight enough and it hangs in there very loose unfortunately it's not a super tight grip it's almost like it's not meant for this so i don't know what's going on here 
Maybe I could try to heat it up and close it a little so it gets a little bit of a tighter grip. That could work, but unfortunately, it's not It's not like that out of the box. His head sits on a ball jointed hinge. He will look all the way up. He will look all the way down, left and right. Head tilt, not really. A little tight there. Arms will go forward only that far. Now, he's going to have a lot of limitations. He's got these very chunky shoulder guards. Uh, they do spread out. We'll get a bicep swivel, double jointed, pinless elbows and knees, don't forget. Uh, we do get a swivel at the wrist with a hinge, diaphragm joint at the torso, forward and back, tilt, swivel. Uh, there is no waist swivel, but there is that torso swivel. Legs will kick forward. They go back down. They go in and out about this far. Then we get a thigh swivel, double jointed knees here. And then the angles will hinge and then they rock. All right, and this is where the knife begins to twist. This is the Ultron, regular Ultron Marvel Legend figure that used to be a Build-A-Figure. And then they released him single, which is just a repaint of the Build-A-Figure. And he's got that metallic paint everybody wanted, right? But he's got the height that this figure should have been. Look at this. How is regular Ultron Prime this big? And then Infinity Ultron. Infinity Ultron. He's decked out on steroids here. He's got all the Infinity Stones and he's fused with Vision. And he is this small. And to close out the video, we'll finish with this comparison with the entire wave here for Infinity Ultron. We have Sharon Carter, Miss Marvel, Mr. Knight, She-Hulk, Moon Knight. Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. So we got a little bit of everything. We got Hawkeye TV show, we got the Moon Knight show, we got the She-Hulk show, and Miss Marvel, and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And of course, we can't forget the What If show, which is represented by the Build-A-Figure here. So very cool, fun wave, I must say. My favorite figure being, surprisingly, Kate Bishop. And then She-Hulk's pretty cool too. But overall, all these figures are pretty solid. Just a little bummed out at the size of this Build-A-Figure, man. Infinity Ultron should have been big. He should have been intimidating. He should have been a force to be reckoned with. So, unfortunately, this is what we got here in terms of his size. Other than that, though, the figure itself is amazing. And some people may still enjoy him. So, with that said, I would like to know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about Infinity Ultron? And would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. I just went through every single figure in the wave. It was a lot of work. So, would really appreciate it if you just simply hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And as always, take care, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.